Well, I saw this just happen. My skin is broken because my fingernail splintered at an angle. <laughs> and it was quite interesting because I put this, this, <laughs> and I tried to fix it and I did it wrong and I went forward and that's when I, I, my finger now, and I can't bend it, I have to do this, Christ. Christ. Amen. Fudge Sickles. I... Um... <laughs> I usually have band-aids everywhere. <laughs> That sounds incriminating. <laughs> <clears throat> I cook. So. Um. That was amazing. Ow! Now it's really hurt though. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> Oi. I feel. Sorry. And this one, I'm almost, I don't, did not see this happen. But when I ask myself what the hell just happened, I realized I had a jagged nail that was exactly where the cut was. <laughs> and then I pulled on it, which was dumb. I should have, I used to bite my nails and... Now I only do it in certain situations. And I obviously don't bite them that bad if I can do that. <laughs> and this. I have resin under my nails from cleaning my bum, but whatever. Um, anyway. This video is- oh, Now I'm like looking at my hands like appalled because I forgot that I- See, I cook. I burn myself being reckless while straining pasta that I did not cook. <laughs> well, I cooked it obviously, but I didn't make it. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure that this isn't going to cut me, but I'm hella paranoid after getting uh, right here and then... Uh, I can't even describe what happened fully. I already did, but I feel like doing it again. Because I did the clippers wrong. Under, I was just trying to like make the nail that was jagged like not cutting me. <laughs> and, um, yeah, and I know that I can fix this. <laughs> I have a manicure set somewhere within the two feet radius of my room around me. <laughs> um, I just haven't used it. You know what? I like natural edges, which is the truth of the matter. Because like if you think about it, your whole life makes your fingernails what they are. Like the other day I was opening a bag of onions <laughs> and I didn't do it intelligently arguably <laughs> because when i grab it it took three of my fingernails off <laughs> like slashed me it didn't hurt but th the netting of the bag of onions <laughs> just went <laughs> as lucky um i was lucky or i'm lucky that i wasn't particularly attached to my fingernails because sometimes they all get so long that I start keeping them. <laughs> I kind of acknowledge that um, 
this is a sign that I don't do hard, hard, hard. I guess that's not true because I've seen a lot of working women with long nails, both uh, fake or otherwise. But um, certain types of work, just like break your nails, like for instance, if I wanted to start a spring garden, which I do, I would not want to go interact with the dirt and try to claw around and pick up rocks and dirt and stuff with these nails. It's like not compatible. <laughs> so I think I keep these nails like during the times where I can because I would rather be gardening. Because <laughs> I definitely do plan to garden. Um, in fact, the daffodils have been blooming. Segue. No, I don't know. Do you, the daffodils have been blooming, which seems ridiculous to me because it's not spring <laughs> but I mean if the daffodils are chilling and blooming then the cilantro could be chilling but wait I think I think the cilantro could really be chilling because I don't think I'm gonna hit 32 I really don't think I'm gonna hit freezing Ugh, 32 Fahrenheit <laughs> and so I think I I'm, I'd want to try cilantro. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe if I had already made cilantro. <laughs> like, sometimes they sell herbs that are already in dirt. And most people, or they're sold to just, like, let them die slowly while you harvest them. But if I could find a coriander or cilantro plant in dirt for sale, then... I think it would be chillin', or maybe I'm tripping, or just overly optimistic and it is too cold or not sunny enough. But the daffodils are blooming! <laughs> okay, well, <clears throat> this started as a video about um, my boo-boo from my fingernail, and now I'm talking about daffodils and coriander, and I guess I wanted to make an amendment to the last video because like I do stop crying sometimes <laughs> but I will say that I haven't consistently stopped crying since last July or a billion years depending on how dramatic I am today because <laughs> you can't really blame your whole failing mental health on one incident <laughs> and it's been a journey <laughs> but yeah I do stop crying <laughs> sometimes <clears throat> I don't think I cried today, but that's because I was really busy, um, working. <laughs> now I want the garden really bad. Okay, bye.